The Bobcats are only really remembered for being absolutely awful, but I wanted to try and change that. That's right. We got Michael Jordan here. I'm going to be giving Michael Jordan four seasons to win an NBA championship with the Charlotte Bobcats, and we're just going to see what he can do. I mean, he's a 99 overall, one of the greatest players of all time in real life, and most of the time, he's really, really good in simulation. So he has a garbage roster. We're going to simulate four years, see if they can build a better roster around Jordan and see if they can eventually win an NBA championship. The lineup is looking rough. You got Sean Livingston, Michael Jordan, Gerald Wallace, Boris Dio, and Lasagna Dio. I know that doesn't say lasagna, but I'm calling him lasagna because if I attempt to say his real name and mess it up, I'm going to get destroyed in the comments. We also got Steven Jackson and DJ Augustin off the bench, Gerald Green. All of these guys are here. I'm going to simulate the first season, see what happens. Jordan, I think, will probably win MVP playing this well on a garbage team, but we're just going to have to find out. And if you're curious to know what we're going up against, well, we got the Miami Heat big three and all Although they are getting very old, we still have a Boston Celtics Big Four, a Chicago Bulls team with a young Derrick Rose and Joakim Noah, a trio of LaMarcus Aldridge, Brandon Roy, and Greg Oden. And in this universe, Greg Oden and Brandon Roy are never going to get injured. You have that Thunder team with KD, Westbrook, Uncle Jeff, James Harden, loaded roster there. And then you obviously got the Spurs with Timmy D and Ginobili. The Nuggets with Carmelo could be an issue. Chris Paul with the Hornets could be an issue. And even the Lakers with Kobe Brian and Pau Gasol. Like I said, this is a star-studded era. There's so many great players in the league right now. And Michael Jordan has to prove he's better. He has to lead this bum expansion team all the way to the NBA Finals. Jordan may be in the league now, but so is LeBron James. 36-point triple-double to win MVP. Curry is obviously going to be your rookie of the year. 26 points, 10 assists. Monster season for him. Steven Jackson wins sixth man of the year, averaging 12 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Look at that. Jordan, you're not completely alone. You got the sixth man of the year. Dwight Howard, he's defensive player of the year. Oh my god, the Heat are unstoppable. They're 72 and 10. I don't think Jordan's beating that. What did Jordan do? Oh my god. God. I've never seen numbers like this, even by Luka. Wow, 43 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals, and a block for Michael Jordan. I'm not surprised given nobody else on his team can really score, but still, he should have won MVP with these numbers. With Michael Jordan on the team, the Bobcats actually made it to the NBA playoffs, which is crazy. We're going up against that scary Celtics team. To be fair, the big three is kind of old, and Rondo is just now starting his prime, and Shaq is, well, Shaq's eating trash cans filled with popcorn on the bench, let's be honest. That or he's arguing with uh, Nate Robinson every chance he gets. Are we gonna win this? Please don't let us lose. We're down 3-2. Come on, Michael. I know you're better than this. I know you can beat Boston. I believe in you. I don't think Jordan cares what I think whatsoever at all, but hey, he dominated the Celtics in this game by 50? Looking at the box score, I don't know what's more insane, the fact that Michael Jordan played every minute and had 53 points, or the fact that Boris Diaw just had 17 assists. We got game 7 here, and Jordan is barely pulling away here up by eight they end up winning by six putting up a 34 point triple double now jordan's in the second round and that's where his story is most likely going to end because there is no way in hell michael jordan is carrying gerald wallace to the finals going up against the miami heat D-Wade, Chris Bosh, LeBron James, and then you also got Mario Chalmers and Udonis Haslam not sitting on the bench and cheerleading. Has Udonis Haslam played like a rotational minute since the big three era ever ended? Because that man just be cheering on the bench. Jordan won one game. Okay, yeah, he's only winning one game. Solid little gentleman sweep right there. Jordan 30-point triple-double, but he can't get it done against the big three. Who go on to win the NBA championship, sweeping the OK City Thunder? And of course, LeBron James finals MVP, 37 points and 50. 15 rebounds. They got that man playing center for some reason. My God. I feel bad for Michael Jordan. The Bobcats did not get better. They quite literally signed and drafted nobody. It's the same team. They're all slightly getting better. Some got worse. Steven Jackson dropped by like four overalls, but that's how life goes, Jordan. Your second season, no improvements. Hopefully you have a better record and get further in playoffs. And there could be a chance. I mean, I know it's the regular season, but he did beat that Miami Heat big three right here by two points. LeBron James is once again your MVP. 36 points, 11 rebounds, 12 assists, you know the deal. But now I'm convinced that I fell into a wormhole or something. Curry wins rookie of the year, averaging 26 and 10. That's impressive, right? Don't get me wrong. But the dude just won rookie of the year. How does that happen? How does he turn into Ben Simmons and win rookie of the year in his second year? Tell me why on the bottom right it says he's a two-time rookie of the year in 
back-to-back -back year? How does that make sense? How are you a rookie for two years? I don't know if he time-traveled. I don't know if 2K's broken. And I'm not going to ask too many questions. Sixth man of the year, Lance Stevenson. Make him dance. Dwight Howard had 18 rebounds, three blocks, and 32 points a game. Jeremy Lin had 20 points. Lin Sanity wasn't joking. Oh, my God. 20 points, eight assists. I just realized that Steph Curry is on the Lakers. Does this mean the Warriors? They chose Jeremy Lin over Steph and Curry. They said, Curry, you're the Monte Ellis in this situation. We're keeping Lin, not you. Wow, okay. Michael Jordan did make the All-NBA first team. Is anybody really surprised? He's averaging 40 points a game. He also had nine rebounds and eight assists, which was very impressive because he has nobody to pass that ball to. He also got three steals a game, playing defensive monster madness craziness. I don't even know how to describe it with words properly. So I love simulating in this era the 2010 years because Tyreek Evans averages 34 points and Monte Ellis is averaging 33. When you start simulations in the Kobe years, these players never get this good. So when I find a share scenario, download it, and everyone makes these guys gods, it makes me a little happy inside. We we did end up making playoffs, shockingly, Michael Jordan, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. But now he's going up against his former team with Derrick Rose, Paul George, Joe Kim. Why is Paul George the- okay. I guess the Pacers said we don't need Pauly G and sent him over to Chirac as they beat us in six. Is anybody surprised? Like, Jordan cannot beat prime Derrick Rose by himself, I'm sorry. Hell, the Miami Heat big three can't even beat Derrick Rose. He's in the finals. We got D. Rose versus the Thunder. The Thunder winning seven, KD your finals MVP. So the Bobcats ended up getting the 16th pick. We're just gonna skip through the entire draft unless something crazy happens, because I wanna see who they take at 16. And by crazy, apparently someone's trading the third overall pick in Samuel Dallenbear for Chris Kamen and DeAndre Jordan? Well, I guess the Clippers are now picking Bradley Beal at number three to team up with Blake Griffin. And now at the 14th pick, the Denver Nuggets are trading their pick away for Steve Nash and Grant Hill. I assume Carmelo Anthony is still there, so are they surrounding him with a bunch of championship-type veterans? Although, then again, Steve Nash and Grant Hill both didn't win a title, and neither did Carmelo. Are they just making a ringless players pack and gonna win a championship? Jared Sullinger, the GOAT, just got drafted. If you guys don't know this fun fact, uh, Jared Sullinger is one of my favorite players of all time, and the Bobcats are taking Tyler Zeller. You're telling me Tyler Zeller is the man to help Michael Jordan, not Jay Crowder, Evan Fournay, or any of these players who actually do something? The Lakers trade their pick for Chuck Hayes, and then they're drafting, I don't even know anymore. I'm so sad they just drafted Tyler Zeller, of all people. Well, so I think I just learned that share scenarios are broken now, because I used the same exact scenario for the Jeremy Lin video. Everything went fine, everything went smoothly. But for some reason, uh, the best player in free agency is Turkaloo, and everybody in the league is on a one-year or two-year deal. And I'm gonna let you know, Tyreek Evans has been on a one-year deal since this video started. His contract was won't run out. Nobody's contract will run out. I don't know what's going on. Next year, Kobe is supposed to be a free agent, which by the way, Kobe Curry and Pau Gasol is terrifying. Like I said, I think I'm legitimately stuck in a wormhole. We're just repeating the first season over and over and over, plus a couple of rookies every year. Screw it, because we're stuck in a time warp, and let's be honest, doing five seasons is just better than four seasons. If we were doing a college-related video, four seasons makes sense, but other than that, I feel like five seasons is a better stop. Point. So although the Bobcats aren't the Bobcats for many more years at this point in time, players are also stuck on their teams forever, so I guess that doesn't matter either. So change of plans, this video is now a five season long video. Merry Christmas, you're getting an extra season. Speaking of Christmas, subscribe and comment below for my Christmas gift. Thank you guys, you're so kind. Honestly, comment down below your favorite Christmas movie. I feel like I haven't said comment something below in a long time in these videos. Y'all ever hear of this LeBron guy winning MVP? I don't know, I've never seen it before. Anthony Davis, Rookie of the Year. We're out of the time warp, boys. I was a little worried that Curry is gonna win Rookie of the Year somehow for three straight years, but he didn't. AD did with 30 points and 14 rebounds. My god. LeBron wins Defensive Player of the Year. Dwight Howard doesn't. Why is Avery Brad? All right, then. The big three is practically gone, or they're just old, or something's happened, because Avery Bradley is now averaging 25 points for the Boston Celtics. Do I know why Avery Bradley is an NBA All-Star Superstar slash 
slash GOAT at this point? No, I don't. I genuinely am confused as well. Michael Jordan makes the All-NBA first team, averaging 41 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists, and 3 steals. Oh, he also added a block in case you didn't think he was good enough at basketball. What's crazy about this simulation is you got Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Tim Duncan, and Dwight Howard here, and then you also got Tyreek Evans, who is apparently as good as LeBron and Michael Jordan now. First round, Michael Jordan and the Goons versus the Miami Heat. Honestly, I should just say see you guys next season, because we are not get- Holy shit, what just happened? What just happened? Michael Jordan, what did you do? Wait, how? Game one, we win. Jordan drops 29. Game two, Sean Livingston carries. Game three, Michael Jordan drops 48. I'm not surprised. Crazy numbers. Then he has a 46-point triple-double. And then in game five, he has 35 and 12 with five steals. All right, Jordan, you did it. He's going up against the Bulls, who honestly might be an even even better team and if we lose I'm not complaining with this garbage roster Jordan just tossed off the Miami Heat big three in the first round as an eighth seed nothing is better than that sure an NBA championship would be really cool as he gets bounced in the semifinals we're about to get Kevin Love versus Derrick Rose in the finals by the way which is crazy I still can't believe that Jordan just won as an eighth seed against the Miami Heat man he got bounced in the second round so it doesn't really matter because he didn't win an NBA championship but his former team just did but I'm telling you right now if Jordan would have won a championship with this team as an eighth seed it might have been the most impressive thing I'll ever see in 2k yep 2k is definitely broken because this is the next season of free agency you see anybody actually worthwhile no LeBron is just casually averaging 36 point triple doubles on the regular I can't stand this man Giannis rookie of the year and Lance Stevenson most improved player I talked about him earlier in the video when he won some other award I don't remember what it was oh, it was sixth man look at that from a six man to a starter to a go 26 9 and 9 with two steals he's too good Michael Jordan once again makes the all NBA first team I mean why wouldn't he did he drop 40 no he only had 39 a season this time his assist went up though so he's passing the ball more same with rebounds still really solid numbers I mean his career averages for the video is 40 points a game but after this season he only has one more shot I'm not simulating any longer into this save file it's not my fault that everyone's stuck to their own team and you know how I was clowning on Tyler Zeller earlier in the video yeah he's now an 80 overall in his second season averaging 11 and 10. I don't know what the settings are and I don't usually mess with them when I download scenarios because I try to trust whoever made it. We beat Boston in the first round. The second round, we're going up against Miami. We beat them last year and of course, we can't beat them this year. We can beat them when they're the best team in the league, but eh, you know, when they're second, maybe third. No, there's no shot. We can OJ Mayo finals MVP? What? Well, boys, ladies, gentlemen, whatever you may be, you might be a fish. You might be a pair of toenails. I don't know. Either way, here's the moment everyone's been waiting for. OJ Mayo versus Derek Rosen the NBA Finals, and OJ Mayo is your Finals MVP. For a video that's a very simple concept and idea, I didn't expect it to be this crazy. Oh, Steven, you're leaving. That was kind of bars. I should have kept going, but that would have made the video even worse. This year, the Bobcats drafted Kyle Anderson, and listen, man, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to hate, but does this man's face look like a guitar pick to anybody else? The team has not improved or changed whatsoever. I mean, they drafted Alex Len last season, but he's not that great. Time for the final season is Jordan going to win a championship? Uh, probably not. But hey, listen, it'll be fun to see him average 40 again. In a world where LeBron James averages 36 points and a triple-double every single season, it's the same world where our sixth man is Isaiah Thomas, only averaging nine points a game. Oh, and our most improved is Ish Smith with seven and seven. Literally, that's it. He went from two and two to seven and seven, and they gave him most improved. Now, although Jordan didn't average 40 this season, he averaged enough points to keep his career averages at 40 points a game which is crazy. Either way, he averaged 38 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, 3 steals, and a block. Really great season for Jordan. Would you look at that? The two-time rookie of the year is here on the All-NBA first team, averaging 38 and 12. My God. JJ Hickson and Ricky Rubio are now on the same level of play as Derrick Rose, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant. Sit with that information as you want. Ricky Rubio is a 93 overall, averaging 28 and 15 with 3 steals in this universe. This video is insane. Like, this is none of my doing it's not insane because i made it insane it's insane
insane because 2K's on that crack. We won in seven, just barely. Game seven would have been an insane game to watch if this was real life. Kawhi had 40, Jordan had a 47 point triple double. Tyler Zeller's getting busy on the boards and the scoring end. I mean, 20 points in this game. He's averaging 13 and 10 in the playoffs. Listen, he's not as bad as I thought he was gonna be. Can we beat Chicago? Probably not. Yeah, nope. Chicago has built a dynasty. We just got swept. Who do they have? Paul George and Derrick Rose. Paul George. You got Lou Will putting up 36 points a game. Yeah, there's no way we're beating a team that combines for 103 points between their three players. That's right. Correct. I don't know how that works, but it does. Chicago is overpowered. They're probably going to win a title, and they don't, actually. They don't even move on to the next round. It goes to Kevin Love and the T-Wolves. Shout out Ricky Rubio and Michael Beasley and Festus Azili. He got a championship before we did. And it's safe to say this experiment was a fail, but the video was too wacky and crazy to scrap, so you're getting the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video either way. Five NBA seasons, Michael Jordan over the course of this time averaged 40 points, nine rebounds, eight assists, three steals, and a block over the course of his career. He had 41 triple doubles throughout his career, the five seasons, I guess you could say. And we can also look at his career highs, which he dropped 71 in a game. But then again, apparently Curry dropped 72 during this season. So you know what, Jordan, you're washed. You're not as good as Curry. This man attempted 17 threes. I mean, the fact that he made 10 threes in a single game as well is pretty impressive. 19 rebounds for Jordan, 18 assists, 10 steals, six blocks. And at one point, this man played 56 minutes in an NBA game. That's unreal. That's going to do it for the video. Subscribe, like up, YouTuber stuff. Peace out.